On this lesson, I'm going to show how to solve exercise on arithmetic sequences and series. First, we need to see what is an arithmetic sequence and what is an arithmetic series. The arithmetic sequence has a property where every number is a change by another fixed number. So, subtracting two numbers, we have the same number every time. So, every time I add a number, this is a, an arithmetic sequence, an arithmetic progression. So for example, the first number is always starts with A and the difference between the terms is D. So the second term will be A plus D and the third one will be A plus 2D. Now the general rule of any term, the position of a term on the sequence will be AN is equal to the A, the first term plus the bracket N minus 1 times then D. D is the difference between the two terms. So any sequence that follows these properties, then it's an arithmetic sequence. In this exercise, I have here the rule of the sequence. The rule of the sequence is 55 minus 2n, and we want to find the first five terms. The, to find the first five terms is very easy. Once we use the values of n, starting from 1, I start n1, then I found 53, the n is 2, then it's 51, and so on. You see the sequence is decreasing by 2 every time. And if I want to find the 99th term in the sequence, all I need to do is to use the value of n equals 99. And to find the first term in the sequence that is negative, I may use an equation here and find the position of the number that gives you a value of the sequence the first negative number, because the sequence are odd numbers, the first negative number need to be the negative one. So if I found the position of the number by preparing an equation, because I know the rule is 55 minus 2n, I can make an equation is equal to negative one, and the value of the n is 28. So the number that gives you the first negative number on this sequence is the 28th number. Another type of questions on these arithmetic sequences is a type of questions when they give you two specific terms in the sequence and then give you, you don't know exactly the rule. For example, the rule is A times N plus B. Because you know the position of the numbers, you may prepare equations. And solving these two equations simultaneously, you can find the values of the A and the B like I did in this exercise. The 3a plus b is 5 because the fifth term is 5 and the 8a plus b is 20 because the eighth term is 20. And solving this pair of equations, you find the value of the a and the b. And let's go to some arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of the sequence. And if you see the difference between the arithmetic sequence and an arithmetic se series, the series is the sum of the terms. So in this case, the example here asks you to prove that the sum of the first 100 natural numbers is 5050. Now, I have an example here, what is an arithmetic sequence? It's the numbers that follow a pattern. The what is the difference between arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series? The arithmetic sequence are just numbers that follow a pattern. The arithmetic series is the addition of these numbers. The first is a sequence, the second is a series. It generates the sum of the terms. This is the difference between the two. Now, this exercise asks you to prove that the sum of the first hundred numbers is 5050. And the method we are going to use is to find the sum of the first hundred times numbers by adding the numbers, starting from 1. So the first sum is 1 plus 2 plus 3, and we keep adding the numbers, and the last number is 100. Now we repeat the sum twice, and the reason we do this, we can see how I can find the sum very easily. Then the second sum is exactly the sum I wrote above in a reverse order. So in this case, I start with 100, 
then I add the 99, I add the 98, and the last number of adding here is the 1. And it's if you add the two equations, I have 2 times the sum of 100 numbers. Each column here, which uh, have n time of columns, have 100 columns. Every column, the sum is 101, which means that the sum of both of the equations is 100 times 101, because I have 100 columns, and each column has a sum of 101. So if I times 100 by 101, I found 5050, and because I have two times the sum, I divide, actually if I divide, if I divide by two, then I have 5050, because 50 times 101 is 10,000 and something, okay? So if it's 100 times 101, then it's 50 times 101, and then it's 5050. And normally, to find the sum of, uh, of a series, we don't follow this method, but we follow a formula. The formula we use is the one I show below, is the n over 2. The n is the number of terms in this sequence, in the series. The bracket 2a, the a is the first term, plus n is the number of terms, minus 1, bracket times then d. Then d is the difference of two consecutive terms. Here I have example, what is a sequence and what is a series. And we can see different questions that ask you to find the sum of the terms of a sequence. One example of such a question is this one. Find the sum of the first 50 terms of the arithmetic series 32 plus 27 plus 22 plus 17 plus 12. The first thing to do is to find the difference of the terms, then D. And the difference is negative 5. So they decrease by 5 every time. The first number is 32. And now this is enough, basically, to find the sum of the first 50 terms. Because I know the first, I know the difference, and I know the number of terms. So using these numbers in the formula, n over 2, bracket 2a plus n minus 1 times the d, I can find the sum of the first 50 terms. So it's 50 over 2 bracket 64, 2 times 32 is 64, plus 49 times negative 5, so the sum is negative because I have negative numbers, the numbers are decreasing, it's minus 4,525. And I can also answer questions when I have an inequality, find the last, the least number of terms required for the sum of this sequence, of this series, to exceed 2,000. So I take the formula of the sum and find, make it an equation because if I found the value that of the number that give you exactly sum 2000, then the next number gives you more than 2000. So I can make an equation 2000 is equal to n over 2 times the 2 times 4 is 8 plus the n here is unknown, so I times the bracket and I treat the n as unknown. 5n minus 5 is equal to 2000. Rearranging the equation, we have a quadratic. And solving this quadratic equation, you choose the value of n that is positive. You reject the negative answer, so the value of the n is 28. So this is an example of a sum that you have an inequality. To solve an inequality. And similar question is the next one. Here is the fifth term of an arithmetic series is 33. The tenth term is 68. The sum of the first n terms is 2,225. You need to find this equation. 7n squared plus 3n minus 4,450 is equal to 0. We start here from what we know. And we already know that the sum is 2,000, 2,025. So by using the sum putting the values into this equation. Now we don't know the, the first term. So the tenth term is 68. So you can use a pair of simultaneous equations because you know the fifth term is 33 and the tenth term is 68. This is how you found the equations you have on this board. So you have, for example, 33 is A plus 4D. 
and 68 is a plus 9. This subtracting them, you eliminate the a and you find the d as 7 and the value of the a is 5. And using these values into the formula of the sum, you can find the n. The n is basically is the equation that you can find the equation that you have been asked. So it's 7n squared plus 3n minus 4,450 is equal to the 0. And finding the value of n, you need to solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. And this is n is 25. This is the topic on arithmetic sequence and arithmetic series that comes in A-level mathematics. If you want to hear more lessons like this, you can subscribe and I can, you can see more lessons and more topics like this one. Thank you.